definitely getting the feel for the generosity and kindness that can be encountered out here. I have left the William Bryan Memorial Shelter. It's about a half hour into my day so far. And I didn't realize last night that there was a, there was a climb right out of that shelter area. And it has knocked the breath out of me. So I know what it's gonna be feeling like about six hours from now. And that's, <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be gassed, I'm gonna be, just out of gas, but I'm gonna, I gotta make 16 to 17 miles to get to an area I need to uh, camp because there are no shelters within that distance from here. But great view, I'm at the top of, I'm not sure what this is called, but uh, it's gonna be beautiful today, sunny, uh, high 80s, probably close to 90. And I gotta watch, I gotta watch the water uh, because a lot of these streams, creeks, brooks, rivers, ponds. Ponds are questionable because the water's stagnant, but a lot of them are, I would say, dry. So I got to ration the water. I got to make sure I'm okay there. And I'm going to need to resupply on a few things. So about 16 miles from here, there is a... Uh, I think like a small convenience store uh, right on the trail, right near where I want to camp. So that could, if it's if it's a good resupply, that can um, get me another couple of days here in New York. I'd like to I'd like to head into Connecticut uh, by the end of this week, and I can do it if I stay on trail. Excuse me. Anyway, like I was saying, it's going to be a long day. And um, I got out of camp before seven this morning, so um, I could hike more, you know, in the morning hours uh, around noon is where it's gonna kind of head into the 80s. So we're gonna hike on, try and get some miles under my belt and enjoy the day. Quick observation about New York in comparison to Pennsylvania. Not quite as many rocks, it's still a rocky trail, whereas Pennsylvania was very rocky and the terrain was, you know, kind of uh, flattened out except for in and out of the gaps where there were a lot of steep descents. New York is a constant up and down on a rocky mountain or climb. So it's just, a, it's just up, down, 
up down different elevations but uh you know that it's relentless in that way but i think pennsylvania kind of trained my feet for the rocks so new york sticks out in that the views are crazy good uh but it's just an ascent a descent all the time so and plus my uh i think my legs are a little bit more ready for it but it does take a lot of uh energy out of you that i need later in the day so i think that's why i tend to drag and plus my nutrition is probably not the best which is uh, i'm finding to be a little bit difficult out here but anyway i'm in the i'm starting a steep descent and then another ascent is just as high as this one is uh as this one is but so we're gonna get on and see how much we can get done before noon and uh wow it's it's really far down there but you can't you can't tell but yeah we're, we're going down see you later
Okay, I am at the Graymore Spiritual Life Center. 16 and a half mile day. Got to stop at uh, about a mile from here. Got to stop and get a fresh deli sandwich, uh, some snacks. It was a gas station convenience store and a couple people there probably feeling sorry for me. I was sitting outside the front, bought me some trail mix, got some water out of their truck, gave me the water. So again, very generous people unexpectedly. So my belly's full. Long day of hiking. It was really hot. It was 85 degrees today and it's going to be another hot one tomorrow. So I think I got about a 14 and a half mile day tomorrow, but the Graymore Spiritual Life Center is about a half mile off the trail and I'm camping way over there. That's a softball field. They play volleyball here, but um, nice grassy open areas for camping. They let you camp here. They have a cold shower, which I partake of, partook of, and washed my clothes in an outdoor sink. They had detergent for clothes washing. They had shampoo and body wash. So it was a cold shower, but a shower nonetheless. I feel refreshed. So it was a good deal. It's about a half mile off trail, like I said. So it's a little bit more than I want to walk, but there was really n no other option as far as camping goes. So I'll be out here um, kind of in center field and uh, ready for the day tomorrow. The goal is 15 miles tomorrow. And I think it's about 50 miles I want to hit in three days and try and get to Pauling, New York and take a day off. So we'll see. Um, feeling better. Having more fun. Definitely getting the feel for the generosity and kindness that can be encountered out here. So I had heard about it. I'd never experienced it. And it is kind of cool. See you tomorrow.